that is the part of the universe that you're seeing, just one little speck of the universe. Imagine this. Right in our cosmic backyard, just four light years away, lies a mystery that could redefine our understanding of life itself. Welcome to Alpha Centauri, our closest star system neighbor, where the line between science fiction and science fact blurs. Could this stellar trio be harboring alien life? Today, we dive into the secrets of Alpha Centauri, exploring its fascinating binary dance, the enigma of its planets, and the tantalizing possibility of extraterrestrial existence. In the vast playground of our galaxy, Alpha Centauri is the neighbor just next door, and it's not your ordinary suburban household. This star system is more like a lively family of three. First, meet Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B, the dynamic duo of this cosmic neighborhood. They're like energetic siblings who can't stop spinning around each other. Imagine them in a never-ending game of tag, swirling through space to a rhythm only they understand. But what secrets could this cosmic trio be hiding? Could one of these stars be the key to unlocking the mystery of life beyond Earth? Then, a bit further out, you'll find Proxima Centauri. This little red dwarf is the shy one at the edge of the family portrait. But don't let its size fool you. Proxima has a wild side. It throws out X-rays, which can be a bit intense for its planet, Proxima B. It is getting blasted with about 500 times more X-rays than Earth. And during solar flares, it's like a cosmic fireworks show with 50,000 times the X-ray power. Not exactly a paradise for life as we know it. In this cosmic trio, Proxima Centauri takes the prize for being our closest stellar neighbor. Just a hop, skip, and a light year jump of 4.2 away. It's home to two planets, including one in the habitable zone or the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water, which means maybe just maybe there could be life. And if you're as intrigued by the mysteries of the universe as we are, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more cosmic adventures. As for Alpha Centauri A and B, they're not just twirling for fun. Scientists are on the lookout for planets around them too. There's a whisper about a Neptune-sized planet orbiting Alpha Centauri A, but it's still a game of celestial hide and seek. Could be a planet, could be a sneaky dust cloud. So, the hunt continues in this star-studded neighborhood. Why do we care about these interstellar neighbors? Simple, we're on the lookout for extraterrestrial life. This quest brings us to the Alpha Centauri system, a celestial hotspot buzzing with potential. Within this stellar neighborhood lies a world that's captured our imagination and scientific interest, Proxima B. But could our closest stellar neighbor, the Alpha Centauri system, be home to alien life? Proxima B is a planet in the Alpha Centauri system, orbiting the star Proxima Centauri. It's a bit chunkier than Earth, and it sits in the Goldilocks zone, which means it's not too hot or cold for life as we know it. But here's where it gets tricky. Proxima B is super close to its star, so close that it might be tidally locked. This means one side is always facing the sun, getting a constant suntan, while the other side is in a never-ending night. It's like having one side of the planet stuck in a beach party and the other in a freezer. So what would it take for life to exist on Proxima B? Are we looking at a new frontier for life as we know it or a barren wasteland? Some scientists think there might be a middle zone, a kind of twilight area where conditions could be just right. Not too hot, not too cold. It's like finding that sweet spot on a seesaw. But it's not just about temperature. Proxima Centauri, the host star, is a bit of a firecracker, often throwing out solar flares. Any life on Proxima B would need some serious protection, like a magnetic field umbrella, but we're not sure if the planet has one. And then there's water. We don't even know if Proxima B has oceans or lakes. Life as we know it loves water, so that's a big question mark. Plus, life needs other stuff too, like organic compounds and a way to recycle nutrients. So, while Proxima B is an interesting place, it's got a lot of ifs and buts when it comes to hosting life. It's like a cosmic puzzle with half the pieces missing. Just being in a habitable zone where the temperature is suitable for liquid water doesn't guarantee the conditions necessary for life. For instance, our moon is in Earth's habitable zone but lacks the atmosphere, water, and other conditions needed to support life as we know it. And remember, Places like Europa and Enceladus, Jupiter and Saturn's moons, might have life in their subsurface oceans, and they're not even close to the habitable zone. 
Now, what about the Neptune-sized planet around Alpha Centauri A? If it's really there, it's likely a gas giant, not a rocky star like Earth. It's somewhere between five and seven times Earth's weight, so it's probably more like Jupiter than like our cozy home. Not exactly the place to look for a beach or a forest. But here's where it gets interesting. Observations from the Chandra Space Telescope since 2005 tell us that the neighborhood around Alpha Centauri A and B might be even more welcoming than around our own sun. They're dishing out fewer x-rays, which is great news for any planets hanging out there. We don't know for sure if there are rocky planets orbiting Alpha Centauri A or B. If these planets are out there, they could be just the right kind of place for life to exist. The big challenge is actually spotting them. These stars are so bright that seeing any planets around them is tough. It's like trying to spot a small, dim light next to a really bright lamp. But hold on to your space hats. If we find a rocky super-Earth in the habitable zone of Alpha Centauri, that could change the game. Imagine a planet like Mars, but bigger and better, holding on to its oceans and atmosphere. If Mars were on steroids, it could have been a happening spot for life. We haven't found a rocky planet in our solar system, but who knows what Alpha Centauri could be hiding. With all these mysteries, you must be wondering, how can we get there? Well, science has some tricks up its sleeve. Scientists have whipped up a new propulsion idea that could, in theory, get us to interstellar space in under five years. It's called pellet beam propulsion, and even NASA is tossing some coins into the wishing well for its development. This method involves propelling a spacecraft by accelerating small pellets of materials and firing them in a beam, which the spacecraft would then catch and use for propulsion. However, it's important to note that such concepts are still in the theoretical or early development stages. But let's keep our space boots on the ground. Even with this fancy new tech, 4.2 light years is a marathon of a journey. We're going to need a big dose of patience, and maybe some space snacks for the road. But the idea of sending a probe to explore another star system is incredibly exciting. This would be a major step in space exploration. Speaking of stars, let's talk about starry-eyed dreams versus hard space facts. Where does science fiction meet science fact in our journey to Alpha Centauri? Zach Estrin, the mastermind behind Lost in Space, knows a thing or two about balancing sci-fi with real-life space facts. He points out that with our current tech, a trip to Alpha Centauri would be a one-way ticket to becoming a mummy in a spaceship. Estrin's point is that while we're daydreaming about Alpha Centauri, the real universe keeps throwing us surprises like new, potentially habitable planets popping up in the news every so often. But here's the million dollar question. Does it make sense for us humans to even think about setting up camp on a planet light years away? It's like planning to move to a house you've only seen in a blurry photo. Sure, it's exciting, but there's a lot we don't know. Estrin combines dreaming with realism. He imagines finding a new, Earth-like planet in Alpha Centauri as a backup for humanity, like an emergency exit in space. However, he's also aware of the real challenges this ambitious goal involves. He points out a potential downside to this cosmic daydreaming. If we keep thinking there's an Earth 2.0 waiting for us out there, we might not work as hard to fix the problems on our current planet. It's like ignoring a leaky faucet at home because you're too busy planning your dream vacation. Estrin's ideal scenario? Finding a place where we can recreate the joys of Earth like splashing in the ocean, hiking through forests, and breathing fresh air but he's quick to remind us that reality might be quite different. Think about living on Mars. It's not a walk in the park. You'd probably be cooped up inside a dome, with everything around you artificially maintained. Not quite the outdoor adventure we're used to on Earth. Our hopes for a future among the stars shouldn't distract us from the beauty and necessity of preserving our home planet. Dreaming of Alpha Centauri is great, but let's not forget the magic of our own backyard. Let's leave you with a thought-provoking question. What if, in this vast and incredible universe, Alpha Centauri is holding the key to our next big discovery in space? What if its hidden planets hold secrets that could change our understanding of life in the universe?